ghost nets are the biggest problem in the ocean right now. Yeah, it's a total rubber net. It's very, very uh, old and dirty. 47% of ocean trash in our oceans right now is abandoned fishing gear. Okay, yeah, that's a nicer speed. And that's just gonna sit at the bottom the, for, for the rest of the time. It never goes away. No one, like, it just sits there and continues to kill everything that swims into it. So we have half of the net. We've had a high poaching season. We've had the crazy poachers going out and doing the, all the gill net things. Like, that's done now. But they've left behind so much garbage, so much trash. We have the anchor line, anchor line. Done. Uh, that was great. That was your first net. Well done. The first net of the wife of Holly. For me, and 159 nets. <laughs> yes. I don't know. So many, I lost count. We have pulled up one more net, and more importantly, we have pulled up the first net with the white holly. So now we know that the white holly is really good for picking up nets, and uh, that gives the vaquitas a much better chance of survival. A month and a half ago, uh, we found a dead vaquita in a gill net in the Sea of Cortez. Um, and it had been there for about a week. And it keeps playing through my head, like, what if we had been, you know, just a little bit over? We had been patrolling that area before. Like, what if we had been just a little bit over? We would have found it. And that vaquita would still be alive. So, after that, after it kept on playing through my head, I wanted to get um, a new, better system for finding nets. And this is what we've installed on the White Holly Gear. Now, instead of just looking straight down, which is how we find them right now, with the sonar combined with like tracking the poachers on the radar, we now are building a entire 3D image of the seafloor, so we're able to see everything either side of the ship. That's what it looks like a net, mate. Yeah, definitely. Grace. Yep. Yeah, I think it, I think you're right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. The white holly superpower is probably that winch on the foredeck, along with the super crew that we have on board. Come on. Come on. We're using the windlass here to help haul in the net. It's pretty invaluable. It takes a lot of the heavy lifting away from us. This is critical to the survival of the vaquita and just the entire ecosystem here because if Sea Shepherd didn't pick up these good nets, they would just continue to kill things. So we have to take them out of the ocean because they're a huge threat to the most critically endangered marine mammal in the world, the vaquita, and they're a huge threat to just the environment here, the most beautiful, pristine marine environment you can possibly imagine. God, you have no idea what that is. Oh, all right, just everybody be careful, watch this snapping. Okay, we're gonna have to uh, get a little bit creative here. Just give us a few minutes. Um, the first part of our net came up nicely, but then as you can see, uh, we've got a big mess, a bundle of net, and it actually looks like we've got about three different nets on here. Maybe a couple of uh, Totoaba nets and a Corvina net. Okay, nice one guys and girls, we are at the anchor line, you've pulled another net. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
We have just uh, finished retrieving our second net uh, with the white holly. And we've been working for hours. It's been a tough one, but finally we got it. It's out of the ocean, so the Sea of Cortez is a safer place for the vaquita right now and also for the rest of the animals that live here. I feel very happy because I've been waiting for the whole year to be able to come back to Milagro and to keep pulling it. the net have the net it looks like it's actually a corvina net uh, that might have been discarded for quite a while it's the case uh, it's just we've got quite a bit of life or death as the case may be so there's a little shark in there so kind of time is of the essence with uh, pulling this up it's not just a case of one it's the case of many all right let's go 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 For a while, this one goes there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At this point, nine dead sharks on deck, and we still have tons to go. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah. the vaquita is dying right now is it's all bycatch and this isn't just a problem here this is a problem worldwide bycatch is killing our oceans the main threat to our oceans is overfishing we have so many fisheries on the verge of collapse or complete destruction like it's an environmental disaster because of these nets that are pointlessly in the water it's just it's so depressing to see such a pointless loss of life for something not even intended for that net to catch It's like looking at a pile of dead bodies. It doesn't matter if it's, if it's a person or if it's a shark. They're all living creatures and to see them die needlessly like that it is very sad. And it, it, it drives me to keep working and to keep uh, working here with Sea Shepherd to do what we do and to do the very best job that we can because if we're not here then this is going to keep happening. I'm gonna say I'm very happy. Feel very late. We save like not even 10 animals. We resuscitate four, five. There is a number of sharks on my slide that I can't even count. There is tons of fish. There is fish that I never even got it on campaign. They suffer and we didn't help none of them. Yeah, I think even for the night with just one shark is always sad. But you see all this body pile on our deck makes us more sad because we think, oh, we could pass this area earlier, we, we could be more fast, uh, we could do something different, and unfortunately, we couldn't do anything. Yeah. Attention all crew, attention all crew, we have whale sighting 300 meters off the starboard bow. I repeat, whale sighting 300 meters off the starboard bow. 